Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Series 1, Episode 1. So, we are coming back into the game, and I actually played this last night, so I'm actually going to be recording it and uploading it, so hopefully the webcam is better this time, um, so I'll be able to actually do something about it. Hello. That way. It's so much better if I had a gamepad for this or something. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Does it sound? Oh, okay. No. What happened to the sound? Apply. Hopefully we can have some sound. Hopefully. What's the matter? Should I stay? Um, what? I, I have don't no idea what's going tonight, on with the sound. But I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Um. Uh, I won't leave you though. Hmm. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close. Okay. Okay. Let's that's see if idea. I can actually uh, do something about this sound. Mode. There we go. No, my microphone wasn't. Hey, um... man! Holy shit! Don't eat us. We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Well, for a second, you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen no them. idea. Yep. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. The Hello, this Sean. Is time. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. Mm, can I know my daughter? Um, Just some Just guy. some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want okay. to do? I... You need to Your go, Clementine. You gotta go. <laughs> okay, go. sorry for the button mashing, but there's gonna be another point where I need a button mash. I know. There we go. It's actually nice in giving me a um, thing to push. Get in. Get in. Get in. Run away. Yay! Well, Seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Bit close, can see some of the red around the uh, around the um, edge of the screen. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I had a little my um, as you can see with this, it's connected to it, and it was a little loose. So I'll cut all that bit out, so you don't have to see me faffing around with everything. Okay, so we managed to get away from the city. Now we are going to a farm. Let's see what what actually happens with this bit, because we we should theoretically be safe out here. Unless they're attacked to noise and in the middle of nowhere, sound travels really fast, so they could be on their way now. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Did we at least change, exchange names? Uh, Chet, his name is, but did we tell. Do we say God our names? Okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Jet. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, yeah, it's it's you Chet. took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Uh, your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just... 
some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Oh, that's good. Okay, She's then. defending us. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. Yeah, kind of not doing so good. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Yay. All right. If I remember correctly, we can either be Let's have a look. truthful yeah. or we can this is swollen to hell. try and lie. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say yep. your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Hello, Herschel. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. Mm -hmm. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. You're not her father. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um. Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. Good idea. That doesn't seem necessary. Um, I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think. Yeah, kind of wanna yet. batten down the hatches. Your son's right. You're gonna wanna fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We yep, gotta we do it. We can do that. Really. That's not a problem. I already said okay. Yep. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Um, <laughs> no. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards me, uh... I suppose. All right then. Cool. First night in safety. It smells like. Smells like manure. Manure. manure? Like when a horse plops. Just like that. <laughs> like a horse plops. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh, I Clementine. Miss my mom and dad. Yeah. I oh. bet. How far yeah. is Savannah? Pretty far. Pretty far. Oh. oh. Okay. Just get some sleep, Clementine. We will see you in the morning. Don't let the zombies bite. And off to sleepy land we go. <laughs> Nothing pop bad pat. Nothing bad can possibly happen. Back to sleep you go. Sleepy sleep. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy <laughs> scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, where are Hello, the Kenny. Friends? There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! 
See? <laughs> the word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if yeah. he has to. Um. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. It is actually quite pretty name. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build awesome. a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will to. Every boy's dream. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. We can visit? Okay. Time to go talking to people. Talk? Can I, can I talk? There hey we there, go. Girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Ah. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's mm -hmm. peaceful here, no? Um, how did you hear city? getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people. Yeah, Over you can't. Just, just I wouldn't want to say it's what. It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody mm -hmm. in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. Yeah. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So yeah, so going back to what she said, um, in an actual survival situation like something like this, um, I wouldn't possibly know what to do. Um, stay in groups, stay in with people you need. I don't know, just try and get by so, from day uh, to day. What do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian <laughs> back in Fort gets his favorite. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach well. up at the University of Georgia. We hmm. need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Okay. Let's go over here. Uh, there we go. Hey there. First time. Kenny? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. You? I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Yeah. Um. Need, need any, any help? help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Probably not. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. So, what's, so, your, what's your plan? Plotted? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. Hmm. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, Ooh. whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Yeah, that's not so good. Well, better than being eaten. Okay, that's. I think I'm get done with that conversation then. Uh, can we run? No, we cannot run. 
You. Talk to How you. How you doing, Doc? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the farmer. Good luck. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> there we go. Talk to him and then wave. Come on. There we go. Hey, Lee. Talk to him. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. No worries. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Ooh. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Mm, you don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Uh, yeah. Uh... Bastard. Poor girl's brain's in. Whoa. Uh, I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad yeah. just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? Yeah. How's your family? Mm. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I yeah. hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. I'll just keep pushing one. I think one is the main go to That's probably all I need for me. now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, Thank you. When you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Okay. Go into the barn. Let's go to the barn. Oh, hang on. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> Um, let us go and speak to Herschel. I think that's his name. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Mm, Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was yeah, of course it is. Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh, parents are making. making with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, yep. is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. I think one is honesty. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. But you better become a better liar and fast. What? Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those no, same people are questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you That's have the it. common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. I wish it Go! I'll get my gun! Can I at least run now? Well, what's happening? Here we go, we're running! Ooh. Ooh. Oh god! Come on. 
Run. I got you. Get, get the boy away. Come on. Lee, what are you doing, Lee? No way. Oh, Kenny. Stitch you up. Mm. It almost that was got me, man. It, yeah, you're kind of infected they now. Tried to save me. I know, son. I uh, he's gonna turn. Mm. Poor Jean. Poor guy. Kenny, what were you doing? Why did you leave him? Get out. Get the fuck out of here! Yeah, it kind of I'm expected. Sorry. sorry! Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. Uh, I wasn't maybe. strong enough. I'm sorry. Oh, God, push the wrong button. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger. Or your friends aren't cowards. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Yeah. Well. So, where are we going? You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Cool. Well, then, guys, thank you so much for watching this Let's Play on The Walking Dead, episode, Season 1. So, when we are next here, we will probably be in Macon or somewhere, at, somewhere close. Yeah, you know, just watch this last little cutscene, and then I'll um, I'll be signing off. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Cool. All right. So yeah, this game is actually really interesting so far. It's actually there's actually a lot of stuff to it. It's, um. um I don't know. Oh, you're making? Look! Ooh. Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Ooh. Fuck. No, they are not friendly. They are not friendly at all. Building into the building. There we go. Cool. So then we're gonna leave it here. I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Take care. Actually, yeah, might as well. When I say that door stays shut, no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. It could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let him right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. Right now? I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those yeah, we've got kids. I don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. Um. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. 
and we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't, he wasn't bitten. bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Wait, what do we do about this guy? Dad, mm. it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will <clears throat> find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! <clears throat> He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. You just worry about mm. Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm <laughs> not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little Ooh. boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Um... No! You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here too. You want to yeah. get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me though, because it's me before anyone else in here. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Jesus. Come <laughs> Really? Lee. Come on. Uh oh. Q Q Q Q Q Q. Sorry for. Oh. Whew. Sorry for the rapid clicking, guys. Oh. It's actually quite a long episode. I do okay. apologise for this. Just great, thanks. Ooh. Everybody down. Stay quiet. We're gonna get in. Shut up. Hopefully they won't get in. Otherwise it'll be a very short game. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Ooh, his heart. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Mm. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all Oh get out my god, this cutscene. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards right. the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Um. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. 
If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? Cool. What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. Cool. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Yeah, right. Now we can finish. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we I will see you in the next episode, guys. Take care.